Thank you, uh, Madam Chairman. VAT is sometimes called a, a luxury tax, yet it is a luxury for those who can afford it. It is those that are the highest earners in society but knows how to avoid paying VAT, while it is the poorest in society who seems to have to suffer the brunt, whether it be on domestic fuel or, or general household goods. Uh, it's cost the UK taxpayer almost £15 billion a year that gets transferred from the UK to the European Union in, in, in VAT payments. And the government of all persuasions in the UK forget to actually advertise that VAT is an EU tax or an EU-inspired tax. We can no longer support this, and this is not a tax that should be on an EU scale. It should be for a national uh, government to decide what sales tax it should have and all revenue should stay within the, mem the member state. The, the, the example that I've already alluded to is the VAT on domestic fuel. Now this was a hot political potato in the UK in the early 90s and the then Conservative government lost a lot of pre political credibility when it tried to reduce, sorry, when it tried to increase VAT up to 15%. It did, never explained once that they had to do it because of the EU membership. The then Labour opposition criticised this tax as being an affront to poor people. Yet when they came to power in 1997, did they abolish it? No. The Chancellor of Exchequer, Gordon Brown, had to come here cap in hand to ask permission to reduce it to 5%. So what happened to it being a tax on ordinary people? This VAT is a scam on the ordinary working class people of my country and should be abolished at an EU level.